or pointe. My body is old, my hair is brittle, at worst, and some think of me cursed, she said. But my swift doubt deemed her manner as rehearsed. Yet here again, wrong was I to judge an impression at first. For then she voiced great wisdom, well versed. She told me how she had nurtured her children, and now they had grown, continued on about the home she had known, the one she worked most of her life to own. She spoke of her years, be them most in the past, of time lapsed and prime youth, and all that she had regretfully missed. Eight lives of glass darkly, she had foolishly kissed. Listen to me, son, she said with a squeeze of my wrist. Right wisdom comes, once but a bit, in the brisk time we exist. Listen closely. I most emphatically insist, and what she told me, with fever in her midst, was this. Music and art is what sets us apart. For we as beings vividly see things, so no matter the stretch nor tick till I depart, be it hours or years in part, whatever the measure remaining in my heart, I shall let it be led by music and art. The world is lush of operas and playwrights and artists all trying, said with a crack in her voice and passion inspiring. You do one thing for me, above all else defying. Enjoy that what sets us apart, long before your last day till dying. Let yourself live in theatres and show, painted in the black, reds and white shades of snow. All that we as beings bestow. My gift to you, boy, is to help you to grow with all of my missed days ago and all that I wish is for you to take this it is all that I know